In this video, you're going to learn how to free up space on your Android device. The application we're going to be using is called SDMade. It's a free application. It does have a paid version, but um, the free version will help you free up space on your Android device. I'm going to put a link to the application in the description. You guys should check it out. It'll take you to the Play Store and um, install the application. And once you're done, open it. When you launch the application, this is the first screen you're going to see. For now, we are going to ignore all of this and what you need to do is tap this and a few options will come up and we will go from there. So, tap the horizontal bars on the top left. So, these are the options we are going to be using for freeing up space on our Android device. From Cops Finder, Storage Analyzer. App Cleaner and Duplicates are the options that require the Pro version of um, SD Made. But I'll show you guys how to do it without the pro version. So, first thing is the Cops Finder. And once you tap it, this is going to come up. Cops Finder helps you find files that were left after uninstalling applications. Some applications create temporary files. And when you uninstall the applications, they leave those files on your phone. So, what you want to do is look for them and delete them so they don't take up so much space. So, to do that, tap this green button down here. But when you tap this, it's going to come up with some options to give the application some permissions. So just give the application all the permissions it needs. Tap allow. Tap allow again. This is to give it um, access to your internal storage. And now that it's green, it means it's done. So next. If you have an SD card, you will see this option, but if you don't have an SD card, you won't see it. For me, I do, so I'll tap the padlock here and I'm going to click allow. And then next, now it's going to take you outside the application where you get some more settings to do. I know this is tedious, but uh, after this, you won't be seeing this anymore. So let's just do it and get over it. So tap allow again. And then look for the app which is down here and then open it give it this access by tapping this button now that it's green it means it's done so we go back to the application and everything is done so once you tap done the app is going to start scanning your device to find all the to find all the files that were left by applications you have uninstalled so let's begin Okay, so it's done searching for the files. The first time I made this video, this is the second video I'm making on this application on SD Made because the first video I made had terrible audio. And um, I open this one, I'm sure the audio is not as good as most of the videos you see on YouTube. But still, I believe the audio now is is okay. So the first video I made, I think I got about five megabytes, but now. It's just 90 kilobytes, which is okay. But for you, you may be getting like 100 kilobytes, maybe 100 megabytes, maybe 200 megabytes here. So what you can do now is just tap this delete button down here. There's another button up here. Either of them works. So just tap any of them and delete. Now worries, it's perfectly safe to delete files from the corpse finder. So. When you're done with this, we'll go to the next option, which is System Cleaner. And tap the button up here, or the button that was down there. When, now that it's done scanning, I'm going to delete these files as well. They are not needed by your phone. Now after that, the next thing to do is App Cleaner. Like I said, this requires a pro version of SD Made, but I'll show you how to do it with the free version. So once you tap this button here to look for all the files, the first time I did this video, I had about 100 and 149 MB on YouTube. Now it's just 10. But well, here we are. So if you're on the free version, if you tap this delete button, it's going to ask you to pay for the application. But I want to show you how to do it without paying for the application. So YouTube is the app we're going to try to delete 
all the temporary files created. So the way to do it is by going through your phone settings and looking for YouTube app and then clearing the files from there. Okay, so here we go. Okay, this is YouTube. You tap the app and then click storage and then click play cache and then it will be gone. So we'll go back to SD made and you'll see that YouTube will not be listed as one of the apps that you have to that you have to clean up. So you see YouTube is gone after the app got done scanning. So what you want to do is you you have to go through all the apps here. The ones with like 200 kilobytes and you know if it's megabytes you should clean it up. But it's, if it's kilobytes just leave it. There's no you're not going to get a lot from that. So now the next thing to do is um duplicate. You also need the pro version for this, but um, just for demonstration, I'll show you how it works. With the duplicates, the app is going to go through your phone and look for files that are the same but in different locations. You can see I have this song by Eminem. Um, Darkness is appearing twice on my phone. The first one is on my internal storage. The second one is on my SD card in a folder called Music. Since we know the location of both files, you're going to decide which one you want to delete. For me, my music is always on my SD card, so I'm going to delete the one on my internal storage. So I'm going to use my file manager app to look for this file and I'm going to delete it. So hold on. So we are on my file manager. I use file commander. You can check it out. It's a very good application. Open it and then look for the file or look for the folder. This is the folder right here. Open it and um, darkness. So you can delete it and go look for the rest of the files, but I'm going to leave it since I'm with the pro version. All I'll do is just select everything and delete. So if you have the pro version, all you have to do is just tap this button down here. It's going to select all the files. One good thing about this application is it's intelligent because I don't keep my music on my internal storage. I keep my music on my SD card and you can see that it selected all the files on my internal storage. The ones with the zero signify the internal storage. So I can just delete it in one click. Okay, we're done with that one. And by now you should be getting more space on your phone. So the next thing is the storage analyzer. This is the most risky aspect of SD made, so I wouldn't suggest you play around if you don't really know what you're doing. But if you know what you're doing, then good. So just scan. This is my SD card and this represents my internal storage. The green part of the bar shows you how much space you have used and the grey part shows you how much space you have left. So for me, I have a lot of space left. So for me, you can see that my SD card is all, is like more than halfway gone. So I can go into it and see the things that I need to delete. So I know that, okay, my music is almost 3 gigs. My pictures um, and videos, 1 gig. The Android folder, I wouldn't advise you go into this folder unless you know what you're doing. Now I'm in my internal storage and as you can see if you watched my previous video you will know why I have this folder here. This folder is no more important so I can delete it if I want and it's taking up 1.5 gigs so it will be safe for me to delete it now since I don't need it anymore and then I'll save 1.5 gigs. So you can go through your folders and decide what to delete. One good place to check is the WhatsApp folder. Open it up and enter databases and delete all, like not all the files, but the files that you can see like dates. If you have files from 2019 or 2018, or even 2020, just don't delete the one that doesn't have a date. Because if you should um, get a new phone, can send this file to the phone and you get all your whatsapp messages back 
but um, these ones are not, are not needed so I'm going to select all of them and delete I know I go in here and delete some things that I don't need from time to time but only go in here if you know what you're doing so when you're done you should be able to have split up some space from your phone and uh, well everyone is happy if you enjoyed this video and this video has helped you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't all right i'll be seeing you guys next time uh, oh yeah if you have any questions just let me know even if it's not related to putting up space on your android device and if i can i'll make a video on it if i can't i'll refer you to someone that knows the answer all right i'll be seeing you guys next time stay awesome